With Season 17 out and Sword 3.0 being in its final form, I want to take a look back at one of the best builds in the previous season and see how well it still stands up today. The cool thing about this build is that it allows you to run whatever subclass you would like to, and it's really heavily focused on the exotics themselves, more so than the aspects and fragments of a subclass. I do think this does run best on Void, and that's what I will be showing it off today. And if you haven't figured it out yet, this build is going to be based all around the Osteostriga. Osteostriga is a very good exotic in general, but it does have a lot more benefits on the warlock so i'm going to be pairing it with that in this build this is by far one of the most easiest and effective builders you can play and i will have a dim link to this build in the comments below if you guys would like to go check out all the gear for yourself over there and really quick if you guys do enjoy this video and find it helpful consider subscribing dropping like turn those notifications on it really helps me out and our community grow and i truly appreciate it with all that let's jump right over to the character all right so first off let's start talking about the ashio shiga if you don't know what it does or if you need a recap this is an exotic smg that will essentially apply poison to an enemy and then that poison will spread it can start killing multiple enemies then the exotic catalyst is going to make it so when you get a poison final blow it is actually going to refill the magazine which could make this thing have up to a hundred round magazine it's very very crazy and overall this gun alone is just insanely good for ad clear the gun tracks it does everything for you you don't even have to aim the thing and it can pretty much kill everything now, what's really good is that if you actually pair this with Necrotic Grip, this is a Warlock Exotic that's going to make it when you melee an enemy, it's going to apply that same poison effect that the Osteostriga does, but it can actually start spreading to enemies. The cool thing is, this paired with the Osteostriga will actually make this poison effect spread as if it was the melee. If you didn't have Necrotic Grip on, you would only get that one burst of poison, which spreads to the immediate enemies, but then no more chain reactions to spread would go from there. But if you have Necrotic Grip on, the poison enemies that die to the initial blast will then make it another blast. And then that blast could kill another enemy then make that blast go on and so on and so on. It's just an infinite chain if you pair these two exacts together. It is insanely good for at clear and the damage does tick up on both of these so it will pretty much kill anything it touches if you give it time so to make this better i would recommend running void walker having nova bomb just for an instant burst dps is good since you're heavily focused on at clear and i'm going to be running things like feed the void so i can proc devour whenever i get an ability kill and child of old gods so i can have a boss damaging aspect for this build and i'll be running things like empowering rift so i can have the damage bonus on top of the debuff from child of old gods whenever i fight a boss now i'm running magnetic grenade just so i can easily secure a kill to easily proc devour with feed the void once you get devour proc you will never have to reproc it again you can just constantly keep killing things with Osteo Shriga, and you will literally have infinite grenades, infinite health constantly. Now for fragments, I am running Echo of Exchange, so my melee final blows will grant grenade energy. This is really good for getting your grenade back with things like Devour, and when we get into our special weapons, this does pair really well with this. Now also I'm running Echo of Undermining, so my grenades will weaken targets. This does give you minus 20 discipline, but you will be getting your grenade back constantly with Devour. It doesn't really matter if you get minus 20 discipline. And between Child of Old Gods for bossing scenarios and then having your grenade to just take down major enemies or just debuff smaller bosses this is very very good for that and it also will easily let you secure that kill to proc devour then also have echo of persistence so all the void buffs i apply to me invisibility overshield and devour will have increased duration this is going to be good for my devour you get mass recovery but that doesn't really matter since devour is going to keep you up constantly you can have 15 seconds of it, it makes it really easy to reproc then echo obscurity so finish your final blows or grant invisibility honestly you can kind of run whatever you want to in this slot i like having this just in case you are up close to an enemy you can just proc a finisher get out and that invisibility does have increased tom with echo of persistence so it just makes it really easy to get out of the fight. So that's pretty much it for the subclass, but I am going to be running a Glaive for my special weapon. This is going to be very good, not only for single target damage on like a major enemy, but it does also have that protection aspect because once you get enough charges, you can just start blocking around 90% of the damage that's coming at you. Glaives also are going to pair really, really well with Echo of Exchange because the melee final blows from this will actually grant you grenade energy. So you can just kind of run up and eat everybody up with the glaive so since you do have osteo sugar for your at clear and even sometimes major targets it can do very well this is just kind of a utility weapon it can block damage and it's okay for single target damage and with the seasonal mod we're gonna have a stoppable glaive and overload smg so you can have two champion mods on both your weapons as well which is really really good then finally storm chaser this is just by far the best dps weapon in the game right now it's gonna work really well with this build 
with child old gods and empowering if you can do a lot of damage with it and since your primary is doing the majority work for act clear you can really focus on your heavy doing false dps now get into stats i would recommend taking 100 resilience and if you can get to 100 discipline go for it but you don't really need it the main thing is it's just 100 resilience it's going to be very very strong get that 40 percent damage reduction devours constantly filling your health at all times so you're literally never going to be able to die but then if we get over to the mods we're actually going to be doing some interesting stuff with it we're going to be focused on a charger light rather than the elemental well so i'm going to be taking swift charge so whenever i get rapid final blows with my submachine gun i become charger light then i'm also going to be running taken charge so when i pick up an orb power i become charger light now i will also be running super charge so i get two additional stacks of charger lights so now i can have up to four stacks which is very good since i do have two ways of procking it and I'm going to be running stacks on stacks. So whenever I do get charge light, I will get two instead of one. So now if I get a double kill with my SMG, I'm getting two stacks. If I pick up an orb, I'm getting two stacks. I can have four stacks. And then to take advantage of that, I'm going to be running high energy fire. So when I'm charged at light, I will get a weapon damage bonus. This is going to be insanely good. Between all the charge light mods you have, you'll have a 100% uptime of high energy fire. There's never a moment where you're not charged light with the amount of ways you become charger light. And this is going to give you a permanent damage bonus, not only for your Ackler weapon, but also for your Boston DPS if you can't put down a Empowering Drift somewhere. Now, I am also going to be running Kinetic Siphon, so whenever I get Rapid Kinetic Weapon Final Blows, I'm going to create an Orb of Power. This is obviously going to pair really well with Taken Charge, so I can get that Charge of Light. So now, when I get a double kill with the SMG, I'm getting Charge of Light, and I'm creating an Orb that gets me Charge of Light. So you can kind of see how... You're going to have infinite uptime with charger light and higher energy fire now i'm also going to be running radiant orbs because if you don't know radiant orbs actually does work just not on a solar subclass it can work on any subclass but picking up an orb of power is going to make you radiant this gives you another damage bonus that will stack with charger light and again picking up that over power it's going to give you high energy fire and now you're also going to be procking radiant orbs which is literally letting you just add clear everything with osteo striga now for other mods again i am running unstoppable glaive and overload smg just to make a really champion based build you can take this in any in-game content and it will do great uh, i also am going to be running uh, armor of the dying star just so i can have some more damage resistance uh linear fusion scavenger and recuperation so whenever i do pick up an orb of power i will get some health if you have orbs laying on the ground you can't secure a kill you can run up and actually get some health generation it makes it even better for survivability even if you again if you can't proc your devour if you do want to run innovation you can do that i find just running recuperation is really good though because you could just easily get health if you can't get secure a kill then also just have a bunch of resilience and grenade based mods to get my stats where they are again main thing just try to get to 100 resilience so that's pretty much the build for osteo striga it is still extremely good again you can pretty much take this in any in-game activity you can take it in just normal content you have champion mods you have ways to heal yourself you have a lot of damage reduction you can use a glaive for even more damage reduction it's really good for raiding ball cps everything like that literally anything you can think of this build is going to do it just fine and it is extremely easy all you have to do is just make sure you get a devour proc with your grenade and then just start killing stuff you have a damage drop from radiant orbs you have a damage drop from high energy fire you're at clearing everything and you can just absolutely destroy this is a very fun build and if you want a more passive role but still be very effective this is definitely one i recommend y'all trying it out and if you do let me know what you think about it in the comments below are you still running austria striga are you running it on a different subclass maybe or have you kind of just let it go away and you're using different weapons now but anyway that's it all for me in this video thank you all so much for watching and i will see you all in the next one peace